Hello and welcome to my review of Christian Dior's Hypnotic Poison perfume. Um, quite a famous perfume, quite a distinct perfume and uh, something that's pretty awesome I think. Uh, so yeah, what to say about it, it's an, it's an oriental vanilla perfume, really nice combination of um, kind of themes there and it was released in 1998. Uh, my version, unfortunately, is the reformulated one. I'll just quickly say that um, it, Dior have recently been reformulating a lot of their really classic, powerful, amazing perfumes. Uh, I'm not sure the reason why, uh, but what they've done is they've kind of compromised the quality, unfortunately. It's a shame because Dior, along with uh, Dolce & Gabbana, are my, is my favourite perfume house. They're my favourite perfume houses ever. I tend to like the majority of stuff they release, um, but yeah, so mine is the reformulated, and what that, what I mean by that is that it still smells the same to me, but it's just the quality has gone down, it doesn't last as long, and it, or it's not as powerful, because this one is quite a monster of a perfume. So um, I'll show you the box and stuff first, and then I'll go through the notes. So this is the box of it, it's a really, really cool box, very shiny and red. Uh, there's there's four or five or maybe even six different kind of poisons um, there's four or five main ones and then there's different variations of them like elixirs and um, they've done a few like there's a, there's a sensual version of this which is a kind of lighter version but this is the, the first uh, this is the hypnotic poison the first one that he did of hypnotic poison so here's the box uh, shiny and red and lovely um, with gold gold trimmings all over it the bottle's really nice. The bottles of poison all kind of look like witches' potions, I think. Poison is a quite a scary name for a perfume, isn't it? It's like, oh gosh, but um I actually prefer my bottle to the to the the one before this, which was the original formula. It's kind of dark from the bottom and goes into red. It's got a purple lid that when you can see it in light it actually looks really cool. It's let's see if I can show you actually. Excuse the lighting, but look, you can see it's very kind of like that. Ooh, need to put the light back, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, the spray is gold, it's got CD on the top, Christian Dior, and it's got kind of swirly kind of, it looks kind of like an apple I think, but an evil apple. Um, so yeah, this perfume, um, it's hypnotic, yes I think it is. It's something that is um, quite sophisticated but I think it's playful as well it's like something that's quite fun but for the more sophisticated woman if that makes sense so I'll go through with you what's in it and um, so the top notes you've got apricot plum and coconut and then the heart notes I would say base on this part by mistake and then have to put a little annotation at the top but the heart notes you've got tuberose Jasmine, good old jasmine, it's in so many perfumes. Lily of the Valley, uh, rose, rosewood, and caraway seeds. And then the base of it is sandalwood, almond, vanilla, and musk. Um, and yeah, there are certain notes that really stick out in this, and there are certain notes that I don't think I can even smell. Maybe it's, that's just my nose, but I don't know. Uh, I've been wearing it all day today, in fact, so. And just before I tell you what it smells like, I do actually own Midnight Poison and I do own Pure Poison, so I will be reviewing those as well, separately. So, okay, this perfume, <clears throat> unusual to say the least, but so, so addictive and something that you just want to smell more and more and more all the time. Um, it opens with, a, it's quite, it's got a very light spice to it, and um, I would say that the overall feel of it is it's smooth but it's like a fuzzy smoothness when, when some, some perfumes are really smooth you know almost like creamy vanilla this is smooth but it, it has an it's like in the, all of the notes in it have been covered in like a fuzzy blanket like they've been sort of pushed down and dampened down to what they truly are um, and the main notes I can s smell from this is coconut it does smell very coconutty it smells very almondy. The almond really pushes through straight away as soon as you smell it. Uh, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. The bass plays a massive part in this. Sometimes it takes a perfume a while for you to get the bass notes, but this one is like the bass is there straight away as soon as you smell it. Um, 
So it, it, if you've ever smelt, tasted or, or drank or smelled root beer, the drink, which I think is more American thing than British thing, but I have had it before, it does have a slight root beer vibe to it. That it's quite unusual and the caraway seed which is a spice which is used in you know cooking and curries and things you can really it has got that sort of it's like a light spicy perfume but with a massive blanket of coconut almond and vanilla over it so that's what makes it quite unusual it's like a 50 50 of you know just thinking oh that's spicy and and slightly root beerish but it's also really soft and fuzzy at the same time uh, and it's it's just it's just really unusual I mean it's really something that you'd need to to smell I mean that's the best way I, c I can describe it um, if if there's something that I can compare this to there is a perfume out there uh, by Kenzo which is called Amour and that if you smell that is on the same lines as this so if you don't like this try that or if you smell that and you don't like it try this because I'd say they're in the same family not the same smelling but they have the same sort of fuzzy it's it's sweet but it's not candy sweet it's got vanilla sweetness but it's everything else in it is really keeping it kind of away from being candy it's 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 really 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 cool it's really unusual and it does smell a little bit um medicinal and i say that sometimes in my reviews and i don't mean medicinal as in hospital i mean it just has a, a quite a strange medicinal sort of smell like something a little bit clinical but obviously again covered with an extreme blanket of almond vanilla and coconut and fuzz <laughs> so um yeah i hope that makes sense um the original version of it which was i said in the it was a it was a plain red bottle and it had a black lid that um that was really really pungent it was literally like a two spray perfume and it would it would follow you around all day this still lasts a really long time on me but they've definitely done something to change it which it hasn't it doesn't pack quite the punch that the other one did which is really disappointing like if you can see if you can find or if you own the one that's plain red it's almost more see-through as well with just a black lid keep hold of it or buy it straight away uh, unless it's on eBay, just be careful because eBay is a little bit scary with Dior perfumes. But um, yeah, so um, just to talk about the flowers in it, it's got tube rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, and rose. I obviously they're in there and they it's blended so well, but this I don't think this smells floral or flowery at all. It's just really, really. It's just it's just soft and almost almost like foody kind of smelling it should almost be listed as a gourmand scent i would say because it smells more like foodie than it does like flowers and fruit uh, sorry only fruits fruit is foodie but it smells more like flowers than it does a f uh, sorry a food than it does of flowers i'm getting myself confused now uh, but yeah that's pretty much it it's uh, when i think they chose the name well hypnotic poison hypnotic is is a good good word for it because it is something a little bit different it does make you smell twice or if you smell it on someone it's very enveloping it kind of it kind of makes a circumference a bubble of softness around you when you wear it um, so yeah definitely try it it's a really really interesting perfume and um, please go check out my reviews for Midnight Poison and Pure Poison which will be coming up I haven't done them yet but if you're watching this in a couple of weeks I will have reviewed those as well so alright thanks for watching Hypnotic Poison Goodbye.